In today's training session, we are going to go over 50 practice questions from the stakeholder performance domain. After I read out each question to you, I'll pause for around five seconds for you to come up with the right answer. If you need more time, please pause the video. Before we get started, please like and subscribe. This helps out the channel a lot. Okay, let's begin. Question one. You are managing a project that involves multiple stakeholders with varying degrees of influence and interest. Early in the project, you realize there is a conflict between two key stakeholders regarding the project's direction. What is the best first step you should take? I arrange a meeting with both stakeholders to understand their concerns. B. Escalate the issue to a higher authority. C. Modify the project plan to align with one of the stakeholders' visions. D. Ignore the conflict and continue with the project plan. Correct answer A. The best first step is to engage directly with the stakeholders involved option A. Understanding each stakeholder's concerns and expectations is crucial for effective conflict resolution and project success. This approach aligns with stakeholder engagement best practices which prioritize communication and collaboration. Question 2. During a project update meeting, a stakeholder asks for a change that would significantly delay the project but potentially increase the benefits. As the project manager, how should you proceed? A. Implement the change immediately to satisfy the stakeholder. B. Analyze the impact of the change and discuss it with all relevant stakeholders. C. Decline the change request since it causes a delay. D. Suggest a less impactful alternative to the stakeholder. Correct answer, B. Analyzing the impact of the change and discussing it with all relevant stakeholders option B ensures that decisions are made with a full understanding of the implications for the project timeline, costs, and benefits. This approach ensures that all perspectives are considered aligning with effective stakeholder engagement practices. Question 3. You are managing a project that is behind schedule when a key stakeholder demands additional status meetings. What is the most appropriate response? A politely decline the request as it may further delay the project. B. Agree to all additional meetings to keep the stakeholder satisfied. C. Propose an alternative communication plan that does not impact project time. D. Ignore the request and continue with the current meeting schedule. Correct answer, C. Proposing an alternative communication plan option, C. That accommodates the stakeholders' need for information without significantly impacting the project schedule is the best approach. This balances the need for stakeholder engagement with the necessity to maintain project progress. Question 4. In a project with diverse stakeholders, you notice that not all stakeholders are equally informed about the project progress. What should you do to improve the situation? A send out a detailed project report to all stakeholders weekly. B. Customize communication based on the stakeholders' needs and interests. C. Increase the frequency of the project meetings. D. Provide only the minimum necessary information to reduce confusion. Correct answer, B. Customizing communication based on the stakeholder's specific needs and interests option B ensures that each stakeholder receives relevant and sufficient information. This targeted approach enhances engagement and project support. Question 5. A stakeholder expresses dissatisfaction with the preliminary project outcomes. What is the best way to handle this situation? And immediately change the project scope to align with the stakeholder's expectations. B. Schedule a meeting to discuss the outcomes and understand the stakeholder's concerns. C. Ignore the feedback as the project is already too far along to make changes. D. Provide a detailed justification for the outcomes and insist that no changes are needed.
Correct answer B. Scheduling a meeting to discuss and understand the stakeholders' concerns option B allows for an open dialogue where solutions or compromises can be explored. This approach fosters collaboration and mutual understanding. Question 6. A highly influential stakeholder has a vision that conflicts with the project's agreed objectives. How should you manage this situation? A conform to the stakeholders' vision to maintain their support. B. Seek to understand the reasons behind the stakeholders' vision and attempt to find a middle ground. C. Politely explain why the project objectives cannot be changed and continue with the plan. D. Disregard the stakeholders' vision and focus on pleasing the majority of stakeholders. Correct answer, B. Seeking to understand the reasons behind the stakeholder's vision and attempting to find a middle ground option B is the best approach. This method promotes compromise and ensures that all voices are heard, which is crucial for maintaining stakeholder support. Question 7. During a project presentation, a stakeholder interrupts with numerous detailed questions that are derailing the agenda. How should you respond? I answer all questions in detail during the presentation to clear any doubts. B. Politely ask the stakeholder to hold questions until the end of the presentation. C. Ignore the questions and proceed with the presentation to stick to the schedule. D. Schedule a separate meeting to address all the stakeholders' questions. Correct answer D. Scheduling a separate meeting to address all the stakeholders' questions option D respects the time of all participants while ensuring that the concerned stakeholders' queries are thoroughly addressed. This approach maintains the meeting's focus and efficiency. Question 8. How should a project manager handle a situation where project stakeholders are not actively engaging with project updates? I continue to send updates, hoping they will eventually engage. B. Investigate the reasons for their disengagement and address their specific needs. C. Reduce the frequency of updates since they are not interested. D. Increase the detail in the updates to catch their attention. Correct answer B. Investigating the reasons for stakeholder disengagement and addressing their specific needs option B is crucial for re-engaging them. Understanding their perspectives can lead to adjustments in communication or project direction that enhance engagement. Question 9. A stakeholder frequently suggests changes that are out of scope. What is the most effective way to manage these suggestions? At implement the changes to maintain a good relationship with the stakeholder. B. Record the suggestions for consideration in future projects. C. Firmly refuse any out-of-scope suggestions to maintain project boundaries. D. Discuss the implications of these changes in terms of scope, time, and cost. Correct answer, D. Explanation, discussing the implications of the changes in terms of scope, time, and cost option D provides a clear understanding of the consequences of implementing these suggestions. This educates the stakeholder on the project's constraints and helps manage their expectations. Question 10. You discover that one of the stakeholders has been bypassed in the communication loop for a crucial decision. What is the most appropriate course of action? Assume they do not need to be involved and continue with the decision-making process. B. Update them on the decision made and proceed without further consultation. C. Apologize for the oversight and involve them in the discussion immediately. D. Provide a summary of past decisions and exclude them from future communications to avoid confusion. Correct answer, C. 
explanation, apologizing for the oversight, and involving the stakeholder in the discussion, immediately option C rectifies the error and ensures that all relevant parties are included in the decision-making process. This fosters trust and transparency in stakeholder relations. Question 11. You are at the kickoff meeting for a new project and realize some key stakeholders have not been invited. What should be your immediate next step? A continue the meeting as planned to avoid delays. B pause the meeting and extend an invitation to the missing stakeholders. C note the oversight and mention it in the meeting minutes. D cancel the meeting and reschedule for a time when all key stakeholders can attend. Correct answer, B. Explanation, pausing the meeting and extending an invitation to the missing stakeholders option B ensures that all necessary parties are included from the beginning, fostering inclusivity and transparency, which are vital for stakeholder engagement and project success. Question 12. Midway through your project, a stakeholder who was initially supportive begins to express concerns about the project's current direction. How should you address this issue? A reassure the stakeholder that the project is on track. B. Arrange a one-on-one -on -one meeting to explore and address the concerns. C. Recommend that the stakeholder speak to the project sponsor instead. D. Send them detailed reports more frequently to increase their comfort level. Correct answer, B. Explanation, arranging a one-on-one -on -one meeting to explore and address the concerns option B provides a personal and direct approach to understanding and mitigating the stakeholders' worries, thereby maintaining their support and ensuring alignment with project goals. Question 13. During a critical phase of the project, you notice that one of the stakeholders is not contributing as expected. What is the best approach to encourage their involvement? A publicly question their lack of involvement in the next meeting. B. Ignore their behavior as long as it does not impact the project deliverables. C. Contact them privately to understand any issues they might be facing. D. Immediately report their behavior to higher management. Correct answer, C. Explanation, contacting them privately to understand any issues they might be facing option C allows for a respectful and supportive approach to addressing their lack of involvement, potentially uncovering personal or professional hurdles affecting their engagement. Question 14. A new stakeholder joins the project team and immediately requests a change that could alter the project's scope significantly. How should you manage this request? I evaluate the request's impact and discuss it in the next steering committee meeting. B. Implement the change to welcome and accommodate the new stakeholder. C. Deny the request as it deviates from the original scope. D. Ask them to submit a formal change request and wait for the annual review. Correct answer A. Explanation, evaluating the request's impact and discussing it in the next steering committee meeting option a provides a structured approach to handling the change. This ensures that all implications are considered and that the decision is made collaboratively. Question 15. You receive feedback from a stakeholder that the project updates are too technical and hard to understand. What is the most effective way to address this feedback? I continue with the same format, assuming they will get used to it. B. Offer to provide additional training on the technical aspects. C. Adjust the updates to be more accessible and user-friendly. D. Encourage the stakeholder to delegate update reviews to a more technical team member. Correct answer, C. 
explanation, adjusting the updates to be more accessible and user-friendly option C directly addresses the stakeholders' feedback and ensures that communication is effective and inclusive, which is essential for maintaining stakeholder engagement. Question 16. How should you proceed when a stakeholder's personal agenda conflicts with the project objectives? I confront the stakeholder and demand alignment with the project goals. B. Try to integrate their interests subtly into the project without major disruptions. C. Discuss the issue openly with the stakeholder to find a professional compromise. D. Ignore their personal agenda as long as it does not affect the project significantly. Correct answer, C. Explanation. Discussing the issue openly with the stakeholder to find a professional compromise option C promotes transparency and collaboration, allowing for a solution that respects both the project objectives and the stakeholder's interests. Question 17. A stakeholder frequently requests progress updates more often than the agreed schedule. What should be your approach? A suggest an increased frequency of updates at a cost. B. Politely remind them of the agreed update schedule. C. Provide additional updates as requested. D. Offer to set up a real-time project dashboard they can check at their convenience. Correct answer, D. Explanation. Offering to set up a real-time project dashboard option D provides the stakeholder with the ability to access updates at their convenience without increasing the reporting burden on the project team. This solution enhances transparency and satisfies the stakeholder's need for information. Question 18. During a project phase closure, a stakeholder disagrees with a completion status, asserting that their expectations are not met. What is your best course of action? Evaluate the work completed against the scope and engage in a discussion to clarify any misunderstandings. B. Proceed with phase closure since the majority agree on the status. C. Modify the project deliverables to meet the stakeholders' expectations without additional approval. D. Document the disagreement and continue without addressing it. Correct answer A. Explanation. Validating the work completed against the scope and engaging in a discussion to clarify any misunderstandings option and ensures that all parties have a clear understanding of what has been completed and why. This method helps in managing expectations and resolving conflicts effectively. Question 19. A stakeholder critical to the project's success is not adequately engaged. You suspect they do not see the value in the project. How should you re-engage this stakeholder? A. Increase the visibility of project benefits in your communications. B. Exclude them from future meetings to focus on more engaged stakeholders. C. Report their lack of engagement to senior management. D. Assume they are busy and will engage when necessary. Correct answer A. Explanation, increasing the visibility of project benefits in your communications option, it can help to highlight the value of the project to the stakeholder, potentially re-engaging them by demonstrating how the project aligns with their interests and goals. Question 20. During a project review, a stakeholder suggests an innovative but risky new approach. What is the appropriate response to this suggestion? I acknowledge the suggestion and commit to implementing it immediately to foster innovation. B. Assess the risks and potential benefits of the approach with your team before making a decision. C. Reject the suggestion due to its inherent risks. D. Accept the suggestion but delay its implementation until after the current project phase. Correct answer, B. 
explanation, assessing the risks and potential benefits of the approach with your team before making a decision option B allows for a balanced consideration of the innovative idea. This ensures that decisions are informed and aligned with both project goals and risk management standards. Question 21. You are leading a project where a stakeholder repeatedly demands changes that benefit their department but could potentially derail the project timeline. How should you address this issue? And accept the changes to maintain a good relationship with the stakeholder. B. Refuse all changes to stay on schedule. C. Analyze the proposed changes for impact and present findings in a stakeholder meeting. D. Delegate the issue to a subordinate to maintain neutrality. Correct answer, C. Explanation. Analyzing the proposed changes for impact and presenting the findings in a stakeholder meeting option C allows for an informed discussion among all stakeholders about the potential benefits and drawbacks of the changes. This approach maintains project integrity while considering stakeholder interests. Question 22. During a project update presentation, a stakeholder continuously points out minor errors in your slides, disrupting the flow of the meeting. What is the most professional way to handle this situation? A politely ask the stakeholder to note down the errors and discuss them after the presentation. B. Ignore the interruptions and continue with the presentation. C. Directly confront the stakeholder about the disruptions. D. Immediately correct the errors during the presentation to satisfy the stakeholder. Correct answer A. Explanation. Politely asking the stakeholder to note down the errors and discuss them after the presentation option, A allows you to maintain control of the meeting's agenda while addressing the stakeholder's concerns in a respectful manner. Question 23. You find out that one of the project's stakeholders has been negatively impacted by a decision made during the planning phase, which they were not part of. How should you handle this discovery? apologize for the oversight and revise the plan with their input. B. Justify the decision based on the information available at the time. C. Offer compensation to mitigate the impact on the stakeholder. D. Ignore the situation as the decision was made collectively. Correct answer A. Explanation, apologizing for the oversight and revising the plan with their input option addresses the mistake directly and inclusively. This fosters trust and transparency, repairing the relationship and ensuring that the stakeholder feels valued and heard. Question 24. A key stakeholder is very resistant to the project because they believe it will automate their job away. What is the best way to engage this stakeholder? They assure them that their fears are unfounded and continue with the project. B. Include them in the planning of the automation processes. C. Offer to retrain them for another role within the company. D. Minimize their involvement in the project to avoid further conflict. Correct answer B. Explanation. Including them in the planning of the automation processes, option B engages the stakeholder directly, allowing them to have input and potentially alleviating their concerns by showing how the automation could benefit them or the company. Question 25. How should a project manager react when a stakeholder requests for project information that is confidential and cannot be shared? A politely decline the request and explain the reasons for confidentiality. B. Share the information to maintain transparency. C. Ignore the request and avoid further communication with the stakeholder. D. Report the stakeholder to higher management for attempting to access restricted information. Correct answer A. 
explanation, politely declining the request and explaining the reasons for confidentiality option and maintains the integrity of the project's confidential information while also respecting the stakeholders' interest, fostering an atmosphere of mutual respect and understanding. Question 26. During the execution phase, a stakeholder proposes a new feature that aligns with the project goals but requires additional resources. What is the appropriate next step? Implement the feature immediately to gain the stakeholder's favor. B. Analyze the feature's impact on the project's scope, budget, and timeline. C. Decline the suggestion as it was not part of the original plan. D. Ask other stakeholders to vote on the inclusion of the new feature. Correct answer, B. Explanation. Analyzing the feature's impact on the project scope, budget, and timeline option B ensures that any decision made is based on a thorough understanding of its implications. This approach promotes sound project management practices and stakeholder alignment. Question 27. A stakeholder is upset because they feel their suggestions during the planning phase were ignored. What is the best approach to manage this dissatisfaction? And explain that not all suggestions can be implemented and move on. B. Arrange a meeting to discuss their suggestions and explain the decisions made. C. Ignore their dissatisfaction as the planning phase is already complete. D. Offer concessions on unrelated project parts to appease the stakeholder. Correct answer, B. Explanation. Arranging a meeting to discuss their suggestions and explain the decisions made option B addresses the stakeholders' concerns directly and respectfully. It clarifies decision-making processes and can help restore trust and engagement. Question 28. A project is at risk of running late and a stakeholder insists on adding more features. What is the most effective way to handle this request? Agree to the additions to avoid conflict. B. Firmly reject any additional features to stay on schedule. C. Evaluate the potential impacts and discuss them with the project team and the stakeholder. D. Delegate the decision to a higher authority within the organization. Correct answer, C. Explanation, evaluating the potential impacts and discussing them with the project team and the stakeholder option C ensures that all parties understand the implications of adding more features. This informed approach helps balance project needs with stakeholder desires. Question 29. In a multi-phase project, you realize that the interests of some stakeholders are not being met in the current phase. What is your best course of action? A continue with the current plan as changing it might delay the project. B. Reassess the project's phases to better accommodate all stakeholder interests. C. Inform the stakeholders that their interests will be considered in future phases. D. Encourage those stakeholders to adapt their expectations to the current plan. Correct answer, B. Explanation, reassessing the project's phases to better accommodate all stakeholder interests option B demonstrates a commitment to stakeholder satisfaction and project success. This proactive approach helps ensure that all key interests are aligned throughout the project lifecycle. Question 30. You discover that a stakeholder has been communicating incorrect project information to other stakeholders. What is the best way to correct this situation? A publicly correct the misinformation in a large meeting. B. Privately discuss the issue with the stakeholder and clarify the correct information. C. Send out a general email to all stakeholders reiterating the project facts. D. Ignore it as correcting the stakeholder could embarrass them. Correct answer, B. Explanation. Privately discussing the issue with a stakeholder and clarifying the correct information option B addresses the problem directly and discreetly. 
This approach minimizes potential embarrassment and ensures the accuracy of project communications. Question 31. During a project retrospective, it's clear that the interests of a minor stakeholder group were overlooked. How should you address this in your final report? I mentioned the oversight briefly to acknowledge it without giving it much emphasis. B. Provide a detailed analysis of the oversight and propose changes to prevent future occurrences. C. Exclude the information to maintain a positive tone in the report. D. Blame specific team members for the oversight to clear project management from responsibility. Correct answer, B. Explanation, providing a detailed analysis of the oversight and proposing changes to prevent future occurrences, option B demonstrates thoroughness and a commitment to continuous improvement. It helps in learning from mistakes and better stakeholder management in future projects. Question 32. A stakeholder has personal ties with the project sponsor and uses this influence to push their agenda. How should you manage this relationship dynamic? I discuss the situation with the project sponsor to ensure transparency and fairness in decision making. B. Ignore the relationship as long as project objectives are not compromised. C. Confront the stakeholder about the inappropriateness of using personal ties. D. Leverage the stakeholder's influence to gain favor with the sponsor. Correct answer A. Explanation. Discussing the situation with the project sponsor option that ensures that transparency and fairness are maintained in the decision-making process. This approach helps manage potential conflicts of interest effectively. Question 33. How should a project manager handle a situation where there is a cultural misunderstanding with a stakeholder from a different background? Arrange a sensitivity training session for the project team. B. Delegate interactions with the stakeholder to a culturally competent team member. C. Educate themselves about the cultural norms and address the misunderstanding directly. D. Avoid discussing cultural differences and focus solely on project-related topics. Correct answer, C. Explanation, educating themselves about the cultural norms and addressing the misunderstanding directly option C shows respect and effort to engage effectively with the stakeholder. This proactive approach fosters better relationships and communication. Question 34. During the project, you receive an anonymous tip that a stakeholder may be negatively influencing project outcomes for personal gain. What is the first action you should take? I'd investigate the claim discreetly to confirm its validity before taking further action. B. Dismiss the tip as anonymous feedback is unreliable. C. Immediately inform senior management about the potential misconduct. D. Confront the stakeholder directly with the accusation. Correct answer A. Explanation, investigating the claim discreetly to confirm its validity option it is a prudent first step. This approach ensures that actions are based on facts rather than assumptions, maintaining fairness and integrity in dealing with sensitive issues. Question 35. A stakeholder frequently uses technical jargon during discussions, which confuses other stakeholders. What should you do to improve communication? A. Ask the stakeholder to simplify their language in meetings. B. Provide a glossary of terms to all stakeholders before meetings. C. Schedule separate meetings with the stakeholder to discuss technical details. D. Encourage stakeholders to learn the technical terminology. Correct answer A. Explanation, asking the stakeholder to simplify their language in meetings option uh, directly addresses the issue of communication barriers. This makes discussions more inclusive and understandable for all participants. Question 36. 
you are managing a project where young, less experienced stakeholders express feeling intimidated by more senior project members. How can you facilitate better integration? A organized team building activities that encourage open communication and collaboration. B. Instruct senior members to reduce their participation in discussions. C. Ignore the dynamic as it is a natural part of workplace hierarchy. D. Only involve senior members in decision-making processes. Correct answer A. Explanation, organizing team building activities that encourage open communication and collaboration option uh, helps bridge the gap between different groups of stakeholders. This fosters a more inclusive and effective team environment. Question 37. During a project status update, a stakeholder criticizes the project team harshly in front of others. What is the most appropriate way to handle this? Address the criticism directly and assertively defend the team. B. Schedule a private meeting to discuss the stakeholder's concerns. C. Agree with the criticism to avoid further conflict. D. Dismiss the criticism and move on with the update. Correct answer B. Explanation. Scheduling a private meeting to discuss the stakeholders' concerns option B allows for a respectful and constructive conversation away from public scrutiny. This helps manage the situation without escalating emotions or conflict. Question 38. A stakeholder demands daily updates, but this frequency is not feasible with the current resources. How should you respond? But explain the resource limitations and propose a compromise on update frequency. B. Agree to the demands to avoid displeasing the stakeholder. C. Ignore the request and continue with the usual update schedule. D. Report the stakeholder to higher management for unreasonable demands. Correct answer A. Explanation, explaining the resource limitations and proposing a compromise on update frequency option a provides a balanced response that addresses the stakeholder's needs while considering project constraints. Question 39. A stakeholder has a history of being passive during meetings but later expresses dissatisfaction via email. How can you encourage more active participation? A directly ask for their input during meetings to ensure their concerns are heard. B. Respond to emails by reiterating what was discussed in the meeting. C. Ignore the emails as passive behavior indicates acceptance. D. Encourage other team members to persuade the stakeholder to speak up. Correct answer A. Explanation, directly asking for their input during meetings option, A engages the stakeholder actively, ensuring their concerns are addressed in real time. This approach reduces post-meeting dissatisfaction and fosters clearer communication. Question 40. You discover that a stakeholder has been withholding information that is crucial for the project's success. How should you address this issue to ensure transparency in the future? A privately discuss the importance of transparency with the stakeholder. B. Publicly reprimand the stakeholder to set an example. C. Implement stricter reporting requirements for all stakeholders. D. Overlook the incident to maintain a good relationship with the stakeholder. Correct answer A. Explanation Privately discussing the importance of transparency with the stakeholder option, it addresses the issue directly without creating public conflict. This conversation can help clarify expectations and reinforce the value of open communication. Question 41. You are managing a project with stakeholders in multiple time zones. During a critical phase, some stakeholders complain about meeting times being inconvenient. What is the best approach to address this concern? A rotate meeting times to accommodate different time zones on a fair basis. 
B set a fixed meeting time based on the project manager's location. C record meetings for stakeholders who cannot attend in real time. D ask stakeholders to send a representative if they cannot attend. Correct answer A. Explanation, rotating meeting times option, a demonstrates consideration and fairness, ensuring that all stakeholders feel valued and can participate actively despite the time zone differences. This approach fosters inclusivity and better collaboration. Question 42. During a project, one stakeholder continually challenges the validity of project data, creating doubt among others. How should you address this issue to maintain trust? A provide sources and methodology behind the data collection openly in the next meeting. B. Dismiss the stakeholder's doubts as unwarranted to avoid further disruption. C. Privately reassure the stakeholder about the data's accuracy. D. Limit the stakeholder's access to detailed data to prevent further challenges. Correct answer A. Explanation. Providing sources and methodology behind the data collection openly option A addresses doubts transparently, reinforcing trust and credibility among all stakeholders. This method ensures clarity and reassures stakeholders about the integrity of the project data. Question 43. A stakeholder with significant influence is resistant to a necessary technology upgrade that the project depends on. How should you handle their resistance? A proceed with the upgrade without their approval to maintain project progress. B. Organize a demo to showcase the benefits of the technology upgrade. C. Exclude the stakeholder from discussions related to the technology upgrade. D. Compromise on the upgrade to keep the stakeholder satisfied. Correct answer B. Explanation. Organizing a demo to showcase the benefits of the technology upgrade option B provides a practical demonstration of its advantages, which can help in persuading the resistant stakeholder. This approach addresses concerns directly and informatively, potentially reducing resistance. Question 44. How should you proceed when you realize that stakeholders have unrealistic expectations about the project deliverables? Adjust the project scope quietly to meet their expectations. B. Clearly communicate the project's realistic outcomes and limitations. C. Gradually manage expectations through subtle hints in regular updates. D. Overpromise on deliverables, hoping to catch up later in the project. Correct answer B. Explanation. Clearly communicating the project's realistic outcomes and limitations option B is essential for managing stakeholder expectations effectively. This direct communication helps align understanding and prevents potential dissatisfaction due to unrealistic expectations. Question 45. A stakeholder consistently fails to read project updates and asks questions already covered in the reports. What strategy could improve communication? A summarize key points at the beginning of each report to highlight important information. B. Stop sending reports and switch to verbal updates only. C. Send the stakeholder reminders to read the reports before meetings. D. Reprimand the stakeholder for not reading the updates. Correct answer A. Explanation, summarizing key points at the beginning of each report option a helps highlight essential information, making it easier for stakeholders to grasp important updates quickly. This approach can improve communication efficiency and ensure critical information is not overlooked. Question 46. During a project update call, a stakeholder verbally commits to an additional resource but later denies the conversation. What action should you take to avoid future discrepancies? Insist on written confirmations for all stakeholder commitments moving forward. 
B. Record all calls to have proof of conversations. C. Publicly confront the stakeholder about the inconsistency. D. Accept the denial and avoid relying on verbal commitments. Correct answer A. Explanation, insisting on written confirmations for all stakeholder commitments option uh, provides a reliable and professional method to ensure that all agreements are documented and clear. This practice helps prevent misunderstandings and ensures accountability. Question 47. You discover that language barriers are causing misunderstandings with some stakeholders. What is an effective approach to improve communication? A use simple language and visuals to convey project updates and decisions. B. Conduct all communications in the project manager's native language for consistency. C. Require stakeholders to use translation services at their own expense. D. Limit detailed discussions to stakeholders who are fluent in the primary project language. Correct answer A. Explanation, using simple language and visuals option, it can greatly enhance understanding and reduce miscommunication caused by language barriers. This inclusive approach ensures that all stakeholders can engage effectively with the project content. Question 48. A stakeholder expresses concern that the project is not considering environmental impacts sufficiently. What should be your response to address this concern effectively? I'd assure the stakeholder that all legal requirements are being met. B. Incorporate environmental impact assessments into the project plan. C. Suggest that the stakeholder fund an independent environmental review. D. Explain that environmental concerns are beyond the scope of the project. Correct answer B. Explanation. Incorporating environmental impact assessments into the project plan option B demonstrates proactive and responsible management. This response not only addresses the stakeholders' concerns, but also enhances the project's commitment to sustainability. Question 49. A key stakeholder is going on a long leave during a crucial phase of the project. What is the best way to manage this situation to ensure continuous engagement? A pause their responsibilities until they return. B. Arrange for a temporary delegate who can act on their behalf. C. Accelerate their tasks to complete before they leave. D. Send them regular updates to keep them informed while on leave. Correct answer. Explanation. Arranging for a temporary delegate who can act on their behalf option B ensures that the stakeholders' role and responsibilities continue to be addressed during their absence. This maintains project continuity and stakeholder engagement. Question 50. In a multi-stakeholder meeting, you notice that introverted stakeholders are struggling to voice their opinions. How can you facilitate a more inclusive environment? I directly invite introverted stakeholders to share their thoughts during the meeting. B. Hold smaller group meetings where they might feel more comfortable speaking up. C. Assume their silence means agreement with the decisions being made. D. Encourage extroverted stakeholders to speak on their behalf. Correct answer, B. Explanation, holding smaller group meetings where introverted stakeholders might feel more comfortable speaking up option B creates a supportive environment that encourages all voices to be heard. This approach fosters inclusivity and ensures diverse perspectives are considered. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed these practice questions. Please like and subscribe for more exam practice questions like these.